Welcome to the Lake House. This video is going to be a short tutorial of how to open the house up either in the middle of winter or if uh, you're the first one coming up in the springtime. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to enter into the basement by this cellar door. That cellar door will probably have a padlock on it. The key to the padlock will probably be up in the kitchen. Once that door is open, head on in. As soon as you come in, you're going to want to turn on the lights. They're going to be up and to the left. Turn it off, turn it on, you're good to go. After turning on the lights, the first two valves to work on are going to be right in front of you. Uh, they're the two valves you're looking at right now. Both of those should be opened uh, over the winter, so you're going to want to close them before the system comes back online. Once those are closed, then you head over to the hot water heater. That also has a drainage valve that has been opened up so that the hot water heater should have been drained. Uh, and you're going to want to close that drainage valve before things come online. That's the drainage valve right there with the yellow tape on it. The drainage valve just to the lower right there does not actually have a handle on it. You can use either a flathead screwdriver or a pair of pliers to open or close that. Or if not, you can probably just do it by hand. Next, you're going to head back to the gray water area. The blue tank that you're looking at right now is the pressure tank for the well water coming in. The 55 gallon drum is the gray water collection. That drum should have been uh, more or less drained. And then the valve that I'm pointing at right now should have been open so it fully drained. Obviously, you're going to want that valve to be closed before the system comes back online. In the back here, you can see one valve at the end of the inline. Uh, that valve really only controls this short green hose. Uh, and that green hose was originally to uh, clean out the gray water tank. That doesn't really need to be done anymore. So that will probably be closed when you find it and obviously keep it closed. Coming around behind the other side of the gray water tank, there's three more valves that have to be closed. They're all going to be on this thin PVC pipe that runs along the back wall. Uh, two of those, the, the two valves on the right, are actually from the internal system and the valve all the way to the left is coming back in from the laundry room uh, but regardless of where they're coming from they all need to be closed the last valve to close is the inline from the uh, well itself it's going to be this big thick black hose coming in that's heading into the pressure tank just before it gets to the pressure tank there is uh, one more valve that should have been opened up when the place was closed down. Uh, so you're going to want to close that valve before you turn the water on or uh, trust me, it's going to spray quite a large spray of water. Last thing to do is to turn on the sump pump. That just needs to be plugged in and uh, the plug goes directly into the outlet box that's right above the sump pump in, in the rafters. Now we come upstairs for the last part of opening up the house. On a cold winter, you're going to want to have the fireplace on. That one's super easy. There's just a little small log down at the lower right. There's a switch on it. You're going to want to turn the heat up. You can do that using just the thermostat on the wall. It should be set at 40 when you arrive. You can turn it up to whatever temperature you want and that'll just immediately uh, call for heat from the furnace. The house should come up relatively quickly. There is sometimes this piece of wood that's at the top of the steps that's designed to hold heat down in the lower half. So if you're gonna spend a weekend up here um, without using the top half of the house, you can leave that in place. If you're opening up for the spring or if you're gonna to need to leave the top half, use the top half, then obviously you move that out of the way. To turn the actual pump on, you come into the downstairs bedroom at the front part of the house. The circuit breaker is on the wall and uh, the circuit for the well is now just part of the circuits for the main house. It is a, a double circuit. So we're gonna see it in a second here. Uh, it's on the right hand side there. It's those two that are marked well. Uh, in this video, you can see them in the on position when you come up in the springtime or on a winter weekend, uh, they will be in the off position. Turn them on and you have water. You can check on the water running the house by looking at the open valves. This one here is the kitchen sink, obviously. 
it's spitting because the hot water heater hasn't been on long enough yet and it's trying to call hot water. Now it's calling only cold water and that's why it's flowing nice and smoothly. The toilet, which should be filled with uh, water that has some antifreeze in it. Um, in this video, it's actually been flushed once or twice, so what you're seeing is sort of dirty well water. Uh, but it should have water in there and the tank should be filled up as soon as you had the water going. So go ahead and flush it a couple of times and that will clear out. Uh, the water will start to look better with each flush. The only other valves in the house are the bathroom sink. As you can see, I've turned on here to the cold water side. That way you're not getting the spitting. If on the hot water side, you're going to get still air in the line because the hot water heater has not been on for long enough. The last valves in the house are the shower valves. There's a cold water valve on the right. That's what I'm turning right now. And the hot water is on the left. That will just spit at you at this point because the hot water heater hasn't filled with enough hot water to prime this system. That's it. The house water is on and going. The heat should be up and everything should be ready to go. Enjoy your time at the lake.